hello little bees welcome to my channel today we're gonna do this queen bee inspired look we're going to start applying a primer in this case i'm using dermatologica and then we're gonna apply our foundation i'm using kat von d to have a perfect skin for our queen and we're going to set all our foundation with a loose powder in this case i'm using airspring and i'm doing a little bit of baking under my eyes Now for the eyes, I'm going to be using a white primer from Ambrosia Cosmetics. I'm also going to use this palette from BH Cosmetics in the color yellow. We're going to apply yellow all over our eyelid. And then with the darkest yellow, we're going to add some dimension to our eyes. With orange and browns, we're going to add more dimension to our eyes. Also, we're following the colors of a honeycomb. I will add a cat eye with this Ingla Gel Eyeliner. It's one of my favorite eyeliner and it's waterproof, so it lasts forever. By adding some black under our eyes, we can integrate our cat eye and we're gonna blend it a little bit. I'm gonna add some mascara before my fake eyelashes. I'm going to take the excess of powder out of my face so I can start working on my skin. With this white crayon, I'm going to start making the shape of the honeycombs. You can use the picture as reference, that's what I did. I googled up a picture and I start adding some hexagons all around my face. Now with some yellow body paint, we're going to fill up all these hexagons. I'm using a flat brush and this paint is water based so it's super easy to use and it's safe to use around the eyes. At this moment I thought that having an exit around my lips was too much so I decided to erase it. I'm using this eyeshadow from Crown that is called Dragon Fruit to add some 3D effect on my excellence. To make the honeycomb to look as real as possible, we're gonna have to work some several shadows from the lightest colors to the darkest colors. I'm gonna add some brown eyeshadow and black eyeshadow. A little trick for the shadow is picking three or four corners of the excellent and keep the colors always in the same corners. For the black, I'm gonna use Jet from the Metal Mad palette from Kat Von D because it's one of my favorite black eyeshadows. Now with the gel eyeliner, I'm gonna define all the corners only in the dark areas. This is going to help us to have more definition in our honeycomb. With this liquid eyeliner, I'm going to add some light into the hexagons. Now with the brush and my foundation, I'm going to define all the light corners and the inner lines of my honeycomb. And I'm going to contour around my face and around the honeycomb with dark eyeshadows as the brown and orange ones. I decided to add a yellow lens and oh my god, we all know that feeling. I'm going to add some blush to my face too and fake eyelashes. I decided that my queen was going to have black lips so I'm using this Jordana matte lip cream. For the hair, I'm going to use a black hairspray and please try to use these hairsprays in an open space. I decided to go for a black eyebrow to add more drama. For highlighter, I'm using the eyeshadow flash that is like a gold. And this is the final look. I add some honey to the makeup since we're the queen bee. And if you like this look,